our next question is how is risk-based alerting slash detection look like in ES 8.0? Okay, uh, great. I, I can take this one. Um, the risk-based alerting is a feature that's been in enterprise security for quite some time. Um, the, in short, how risk-based alerting works is uh, going to be, um, you know, not changed as a sort of base functionality uh, in ES 8.0. So any sort of a, you know, RBA configuration settings, the way that risk is sort of assigned to assets or identities, how risk rules and risk events are stored and organized behind the scene. Um, that's all sort of not changing. And there's enhancements on top of that to make it easier to work with within 8.0 um, in short. So anything that exists pre-8.0 um, would be fully supported and backwards compatibility testing has been ongoing to make sure of that. Now with 8.0, um, there's there are a few changes. Um, like Jay mentioned, there's some standardization of language and terminology, and this affects uh, how risk events um, are called also in the product. Within ADO, notable events are going to be renamed as findings, and risk events are going to be renamed as intermediate findings. Um, and with those, um, the storage behind the scene is the same. It's just the surface or, you know, some call it like a cosmetic change within the user interface to make it easier and simpler and more of a standard way to uh, think about and work with enterprise security and the features it has. Now, these are some uh, go forward changes that are required once you start, you know, sort of working with the detection rules and with risk um, within the detection rules, which also correlation searches are going to be renamed in ADO as detections um, or detection rules. So going forward, entity and risk score modifiers um, are going to be required fields uh, for both findings and intermediate findings. In other words, uh, for notable events and risk events as they were um, defined to be uh, created as adaptive response actions uh, from a correlation search, which now would be called an event-based detection. So uh, that is one change. And, but, you know, that's in the event that, you know, someone is editing a, you know, an existing detection or creating a new detection, uh, this sort of the guidelines, which are now sort of required as a principle in the, in the product uh, is to capture and attribute risk in an incremental fashion to either an asset or an identity, uh, which we're generically calling as an entity now. Um, the second thing to know is there's two risk incident rules, uh, which um, would continue to exist, continue to be on by default um, in the product. The seven day attack, uh, MITRE attack tactic threshold exceeded and the 24 hour risk threshold exceeded ones. Uh, those are, you know, unchanged. There's been some optimizations behind the scene, but uh, functionally and uh, practically they're not changed. Um, there are new uh, risk oriented um, detection types um, that are included within this new construct called finding-based detections, uh, which is a, you know, a preview feature in the 8.0 release once it becomes GA. And we're probably going to keep it as preview um, for several months until our, until our next uh, feature release, which would be, you know, early to mid next year. And those finding-based detections uh, provide you a way to, a new and easier way to track and aggregate and manage risk uh, using um, risk thresholds that require no knowledge of SPL um, and a simple and easy way to group intermediate findings as well as findings. 